Hi guys, welcome back to a brand new Minecraft video and today we're going to be we're going to be doing the 27th part of me making my friend's dream clubhouse. So in the last part we did the kitchen, which turned out really well, I'm really proud of this. And we also did the living room, which is over here. So if you want to see those parts, the link will be in the description. And for this part I'm thinking we can do this bathroom right here, the crafts room, or soon to be the crafts room, and the sewing room connected to it. If we have time, we might do a different room, but I really doubt it because furnishings take a long time and the only two rooms are the pad room, theater room and such, and those take some time. So let's get started over here. So this is, will be a bathroom. So let me get some smooth quartz blocks, smooth quartz slabs, smooth, smooth quartz stairs, smooth quartz slabs, sorry. Stone button, weighted oh. pressure plate, hopper, water bucket. Okay, I'll just start with that. So over here we're going to have the sink, so two smooth quartz blocks on either side. And that is dark. Then we're going to have one hopper. Let me just play the sea lantern so we can all still see. Then smooth quartz slab so the water doesn't flow. Then shift, you can place the water down. Then we're going to get a lever and a birch button to act as a soap. So, lever, birch button. Then I'm going to get a flower pot, put a flower with it. I'm guessing we should do a corn flower. Matches the wall, sort of. Okay, so we got that. And this is going to be a pretty small bathroom. So we're just going to over here put one smooth quartz block, one, smooth, one smooth quartz stairs with facing upside down, then one slab at top, with a pressure plate like that, and then buttons on either side for the flushing. And then over here, we're going to break the blocks, put sea lanterns, and just put white carpet, nothing too fancy. And over here, I'm just going to break the middle blocks. Like that. Then I'm going to get iron trap doors and place them on top. So there, we have our bathroom. I'm like guessing it's still a bit dark. So I, I'll put like, like one or two paintings. Okay, so I got my paintings and now we're done with one room. Yay! And over here, this is the, the crafts room. Let's start with the lights this time. So for the lights, we want a lot of light because we're doing crafts and so we need to see. So they just start there. I just want to make one ring around it, then we'll figure it out from there. Okay, so we got that done. It just looks like a big plus sign with a square around it. So that's how it is. Then for the crafts room, I was thinking, so let me just get rid of some of this stuff. That we should do like big tables with like five, six seats each. We'll, all be, we'll obviously put carpet down here for light. We're probably going to do that for like all the rooms. But for now, you just start with that. Okay. So, you yeah, just see if we can figure out where we want the chairs. So, I'll just do two on each side. Then I'm going to make the chairs the same as the dining room. So with the iron door, banners, and the item frames on either side. Okay, so I finished that. Looks like this. Looks pretty cool. So now I'm just going to take this and put it on this side. So I'll just give me a second. Okay, so we got that. This one has 9 seats, so the other one has 12. I think that's plenty big because there's only like all of us living here, so. I would say next, I really want some light, so we'll work on the carpet. So let me just get rid of this. Get my sea lanterns. Since this one, since it's like um, cyan, I'm gonna go with like cyan and gray. And then I'll do one carpet around this table and one carpet around that table. So I got the carpets down. Here it's more of a spotting pattern, now here it's more of like a block pattern, but I like it. 
So, for the craft room, I guess you can do crafts with all sorts of different items, but not many of them are in Minecraft. But, for now, I'm going to be using a sword as a... Actually, wait. Mm, I'm going to be using shears as um, scissors. I know that doesn't make sense, but um, best I have. Besides, I do cut, so. Then, we're going to get paper. Because, like, origami and stuff. Then, I would say... I guess we can get a few candles, because candle making is a craft. Okay. What else? Fireworks, you can make fireworks. I'm just thinking. This for music. So we'll just leave it at that because all these are basically crafts. Then I'm gonna get some bookshelves. I just thought about this. Books about how to make a few crafts. So we're just gonna put those books here. Then I'm also going to get a barrel full of water in empty buckets because if something happens, then well, as I was saying, if something happens, like a spill or accident or something, we'll have water ready. So let me just get that. Okay. So I did that. Now I'm gonna put in some food because people get hungry when they're doing crafts. I do. So I'm just gonna put a few foods in here. Okay, so we got that. Now I'm just gonna put a few more paintings for light. Got that. All right. So we have a few more paintings for the light, that's all good. So this will be our craft room, and then over here is our sewing room. So first, let's get started with the lights on top, so let me get my iron trap doors again. With small rooms like this, I usually just do like the middle for light. Like just break the middle blocks and put seam lanterns for that. And then for the sewing room, I'm just going to have like two or three small tables. So I'll have like chair right here put that there chair right here put that there or maybe make a big one so like that and then a small one over here because you don't know how many people are going to be working you already have a um, storage because you can put stuff in the walls but um, let's see what I can do so I put a banner because you can, you can sell stuff on banners and their cloth and I also put string because you need string to sell. So that's what I did. I'll just put like one small painting here. Or like two. Okay, so we got that. And we're done with those rooms. That took... Not too long. I'm sort of surprised. But I don't want to do the pet room or... The theater room or the pet bathroom yet because I know those are going to take a while. Neither are the so are the servant quarters. And this is the small maintenance room. We'll do this later. So I'm guessing since we have the time, we'll just do this part. And this is just going to be like a small seating area, something simple. But first, let's put up the lights. I got that. So it looks like this. It's a bit of a weird design. I just trace the outside. So it looks like that. Now here I'm just going to put like a couch, a few beanbag chairs, carpet, just like a little seating area. That's what I planned to do. So for the chairs, I'm going to use terracotta again. This time I'm going to do the light blue. So I'm thinking about putting, putting the couch on this side. Maybe I should move the one back so it's against the wall. Now, I would say for this, we're going to get like, we're going to make a random, so I'm going to get some yellow and some magenta. Just make this whole place very bright. Okay. 
Or maybe I should move the magenta a bit farther. I'm going to put carpet. And for the carpet, I'm going to make it again random. So light blue, magenta, and yellow. So it's going to be matching the beanbags and the couch. Okay, so I got that. This is the carpet. Looks pretty good. And I made sure the yellow wasn't touching the yellow. The yellow carpet wasn't touching the yellow beanbag and so on and so forth. So it looks like that. It looks pretty good. Then I'm also going to put like a few books. Because everyone likes to read. There's you, you, Honestly, you can't have too many books. So I'll just like put one there. One over here. Actually, two over here. Let's delete this one. This one looks weird. Two over here. Okay, so that looks good. I'm guessing we should end it here. I don't want to make this part too long for you guys to watch. So to summarize, we did this bathroom right here. We did the craft room. We did the sewing room. Very simple design. And finally, we did the room connecting to the hallway and the staircase to the second floor. So we're going to end it here. And we didn't do too much, but hopefully next part we can do the theater room and the pet room. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe for more Minecraft videos. I've been really enjoying them so far. And I hope you all have a safe and wonderful day. Bye!